Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Lift Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It is the host himself, Ted Talk Money Returning. Guys, I hope you have been appreciating and really seeing the bigger picture of this ISO 222 thing. I mean, we've talked about Algorand. We've talked about the connection here with Circle. Even JP Morgan's had its way with Quorum. Zenfin Network, Trade for Next. Guys, we've even talked about the legacy Ethereum bug that we've even had back back here just to show you its connection with Trade for Next. Trace Financial, Swift, guys. We've even touched on the connection with R3 and Corda. Even the even the Hyperledger fabric, guys. But today, 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 we're gonna get off into this. These supporting roles. We've even talked about TM Forum and its connection with IOTA and R3. But guys, this time today, we're gonna talk about this new this new special line here the blue one linux foundation alvirium guys we have a great one let's get into it all right guys like i said we're going to be talking about something that's really really interesting and i see exactly why it had a blue line here guys a blue line so just to tell you guys um Looking at these uh, supporting roles, I, I said to myself, I'm like, TM Forum, already in itself, it had to be some kind of support because nothing else was connected to it except for these different colored lines. So just to, let, just to fill you guys in, TM Forum already is going to be uh, leveraging IOTA for the smart city. But with this data confidence, data confidence uh, fabric, that's going to also be leveraging IBM and all their data and as well going to be pushing all that data into iota so guys it's like i said a really good one let's step into this one so like i said guys so just to, just to show you how far back this thing goes so swift swift joins the linux foundation for their d uh, the dlt initiative so the linux foundation a non-profit organization enabling mass and uh, a mass innovation through open source today announced a new collaborative effort to advance the popular blockchain technology guys this was something that the cto of swift had said that they're delighted to support this industry-wide effort to advance advanced dlt you guys were talking that back in 2015 you see what i'm saying swift already knew swift already knows that they're antiquated and they need a way out so of course they're starting to jump ship the project will develop an enterprise grade open source dlt framework and free developers to focus on building robust industry specific applications platforms and hardware system to support the business and to support business transactions Early commitments to this work come from, listen, y'all, because y'all know these names, Accenture, ANZ Bank, uh, Cisco, uh, um, uh, uh, Fujitsu, T, uh, DTCC, IBM, Intel, JP Morgan, London Stock Exchange, Mitsubishi, R3, Wells Fargo. These are all, all early commitments. All these are early commitments to this Linux Foundation. Y'all see where this is going. Many of the founding members are already investing considerable research, money, and development efforts, money, exploring blockchain applications for industry. IBM intends to contribute tens of thousands of lines of its existing code base and its corresponding intellectual property to this open source community. Guys, you have to understand the Linux Foundation is a network network of networks digital asset is contributing the hyperledger mark which will be used as the project name as well as enterprise grade code and developer resources guys that's the thing too you have to understand these ibms they have the best of the best of the best developers of course your startups your lower ends you know they're innovative companies. They have, you know, your newer uh, developers, smart minds, of course, but these developer resources, those toolboxes, the SDKs, all of those, they have access to them. R3 is contributing a new financial transaction architecture framework designed to specifically meet the requirements of its global bank members and other financial institutions. Guys, just me reading it to you, you know we're in money. This is all money. And this was reported back in 2015. Swift joins the Linux Foundation. So, guys, Guys, you're going to understand. I'm going to be bopping back and forth so you understand more of a context of what we're talking about. But now you see how this IBM is leveraging the Linux Foundation, and we're going to talk more about this project Alvarium. So the, the, the new Linux Foundation effort to focus on data confidence fabrics, DCFs, to scale digital transformation initiatives. 
So um, in in partnership with leading industry players, Linux Foundation, to create Project Alvarium to facilitate in, intrinsic trust in data and applications. Get this. The Linux Foundation, the, uh, the non-profit, Profit organization dedicated to accelerating the growth of Linux and collaborative developments among sustainable open source ecosystems. Today announced the intent to form Project Alvarium. Project Alvarium will focus on building the concept of a DCF, data confidence fabric, to facilitate measurable trust and confidence in data and application spanning heterogeneous systems. Guys, just think a heterogeneous will be all of the same. Think of uh, Internet of Things. Think of everything coordinating with everything, yet it's a different thing itself. It's it's in a network. The project will be seeded by code from Dell Technologies with support from industry leaders like IBM, IOTA Foundation, Unisys, Mobile Edge S, and more. So guys, hear that. Hear that. This project, which will be... um, validating and bringing confidence to the data fabric a dcf which is a totally new framework is going to have support money backing by dell ibm and iota a dcf or a trust fabric is a framework comprised of a variety of technologies that help insert trust into the data path and turning in, in turn, facilitating the orchestration of trusted AI models and the delivery of data from devices to applications with measurable confidence. Guys, you can't have a smart city if everything's not scalable. Do you see where this is going? Project Alvarium is going to be um, utilizing the IOTA system. If Look at our past videos, guys. I don't want to take too much time into it, but IOTA is the perfect, perfect, perfect network for something like a smart city and what they're saying here is with this these dcf with a data confidence fabric now you can trust a driverless car now you can trust the bots when they're making your burgers or making your drinks at the bar you get me project alvarium will foster a community to collaborate on the baseline open source framework and related apis that bind together the various ingredients that constitute trust fabrics as well as to define the algorithm algorithms that drive confidence scores as data flows through any given given implementation. The project will also seek to collaborate with other important industry efforts as the goal is to unify trust insertion capabilities, not reinvent them. Guys, like we're saying here, it's all about interoperability, all about it. So guys, we'll leave you a link for that. To talk a little bit more about the IOTA and Dell um, collaboration here for Project Alvarium, So this was written back in 2019. Of course, guys, here at Lyft Capital, we're going to do our digging, okay? We're definitely going to do our digging when it comes down to it. But guys, what I want you to understand and what I want you guys to know is that this whole big picture, to go back here, this is not, this is bigger than the banks, okay? This this really shows you. IOTA doesn't do anything with, with banking, okay? It has nothing to do with banking. But for you guys to see how the Interledger Protocol family and the ISO 222 ecosystem will work together, I'm telling you, you're seeing the big names behind it right in front of you. And that's what Lyft Capital is going to do. We're, we're going to make sure you guys know what's up. So what is the role of IOTA? How exactly will it be utilized? IOTA is going to add strong security and trust capabilities to Project Alvarium. With the sheer number of devices, connections, and variables when creating a data or a DCF, you need a system that allows for fee-less and scalable management of, those, of that data and connections. IOTA aims to be the connective tissue that binds the whole system together but is initially integrated as an immutable storage and validation mechanism for the DCF for the data confidence scores created by Project Alvarium. IOTA has been focused on the bottom on the bottom of the data stack where it comes from, how it's secured, how it gets to where it needs to go, how you can trust it. The data confidence fabric takes these low level capabilities and provides an in the end solution that could be easily integrated into many other systems guys it's a no-brainer you can see where this whole thing is going you see how iota is going to add security it's going to make the thing legit it's no longer going to just be a project okay and there's big money behind this 
big money. Trust in data is increasingly important in today's organizational environments. Project Alvirium is coming at an integral time as the intersection of control over data, transparency, and private touch just about uh, uh, and privacy touched about every single organization in person. IOTA's inherent trust layer was developed specifically to address these challenges. Do you hear that? IOTA's trust layer was developed specifically to address these challenges. It was made for this. And we look forward to the technology being a core enabler in, in the data confidence fabric. So guys, again, just to look right here, the Interledger Protocol family, they're going to be utilizing the data confidence fabric here with IOTA. And guys, like, like we're saying, anybody on the INA TBA, any of these founding members are going to be able to utilize that. Okay? So just a little bit to touch on who will use this system. We believe that the capabilities of Project Alvirium will be integral to the future of industry, providing a measurable way to ensure trust in data. It will offer a simple tool set for data scientists, data analysis, chief data uh, data officers and others to understand the value of their data in a way they can trust. We expect it to eventually become part of the standard tool set of these professions and industries, guys, I'm telling you, if any parents out there, you look, I'm telling you, it might be a good idea to push them in the way of being data analysts. Get me? Data scientists, chief data officers. You get what I'm saying? So this is the last part here. So with Project Alvirium, a city, a person, a device, or organization can trust that the data they are using has remained uncompromised from the source. Regardless of whether that data was produced by other people or machines, there should never be a single company or brand that owns the trust process. By using a holistic and diverse system of systems approach, individuals, organizations, policymakers, and others can use the data they need in a way that's accurate, secure, and trusted for data monetization, sharing, and enabling large-scale validation of data compliance so guys just so you understand all of this data that they're going to be using they're going to monetize it we're going to we're going to make sure that it's real we're going to make sure that it's true and then from there they'll be able to monetize it and who do you think is going to be you know benefiting from it individuals organizations policymakers, and others DeFi is going to be real guys for real so I'll leave a link so you guys could check that out. Uh, next, this is just uh, just again showing DCFs and what they're all about. A DCF is more generally speaking a trust fabric, uh, a virtual overlay that aids in the delivery of data from devices to applications for measurable trust uh, characteristics. The Alvarium framework features open APIs and integrates algorithms to generate confidence scores for data based on the trust insertion technologies used in the overall context. I really do. I hope you guys are really seeing how this whole thing is so futuristic. We've said it so many times here on this channel, guys, that IOTA, this whole sector here, TM Forum, Linux Foundation, everything they're doing over there, it's one of the most, I mean, innovative sides to this whole thing, guys, to the whole ecosystem. And I hope you guys see it. So I want to leave you as well with this. Uh, this was as well something I found out from the Hyperledger Foundation. They had recorded this back in March, and they actually do a deep dive. I'll leave a link for it so you guys can see a little bit more about two, uh, ISO 222. But I want you guys to hear a little bit about the dates and what they're talking about when Europe is actually going to be uh, coming on live. So take a listen. Um, working on. So, yeah, that's that's enough for the, for the introduction. Let us uh, dive into ISO 2022. Uh, that is very much of our daily business right now because uh, all the banks are talking about uh, as, as banks we are migrating um, to ISO 2022 not just uh, in uh, domestic payments in Europe we have that since 2008 uh, in SEPA but now we are migrating uh, the uh, high value payments uh, RTGS like uh, Target 2 Euro 1 uh, Step 1 uh, also CHAPS uh, and, and so on, they, uh, they all move to ISO 20 or 22. And next to it, you might heard of heard about it, that uh, correspondent banking is also moving ISO 20 or 22. Um, and uh, 2025, we hopefully are all done and then we will look for new challenges. 
So guys, that's what I wanted you guys to hear. You see, they mentioned all those different banking standards there over in the in Europe, but they're seeing we're seeing that hopefully we'll have every single one of these banks will finally finally be integrated fully over by 2025. So guys, I really again want you to see the ISO 222. This whole thing is much bigger than just the banks, okay? But as well, we're talking about an interledger protocol family and how it's all going to work together. But I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, hit me with a like, hit me with a subscribe. Please share this with some people who need to know more about ISO 222. And if they've had an interest as well in it, have them come to our channel and they will be healed, educated, and informed, guys. But I'll leave you with that one. I'll holler at you tomorrow. Peace.